Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to next match, Crossbound Let's Cup, so bottom part, first time. So there are still a couple of deck lists that are being changed, um, you know, not in this particular group, but in the other groups, but you'll see that within the next couple of episodes. So the next one, we have um, an older deck in the bottom bracket, <laughs> that's one from 2017, and that's True Draco Zodiac, so I think it's the... Well, I was about to say the only zoo variant, but that's not true. There's another zoo deck in here as well, as we've, uh, you know, mentioned some time ago. But True Draco Zoo DX, first place deck list by, well, I think it was Chris LeBlanc's list featuring Bao Baboon. A nostalgic list, by the way, for me as well, because again, Bao Baboon, the dimensional barriers in the main deck and so on. So due to that barrier... Uh, it does have a, 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 kind of like a big chance against a Synchro Heavy deck being at Emancipators, then again, this is the uh, Buster Lock. And uh, seeing, you know, at the votes, the predictions from the people, I... Like, before this matchup, I again felt maybe like 60-ish to 40-ish uh, chance as in Ad Emancipators indeed having the slight advantage over True Draco Zoo. Um, things like Buster Lock does hit the deck in some way, like, you know, the Zodiac part, for example. While, uh, on the other hand, the True Draco engine... <laughs> the Buster Lock doesn't hit that right. The thing is that the True Draco engine can uh, hit the Buster Lock, you know, like, get rid of it and then potentially turn on the, you know, the, the, the extra deck, the Zodiac package. So anyway, go second, and uh, this deck has access to Masterpiece, and looking at True Draco Zodiac, that is, and, you know, because of the potential Tribute Summon Monarch style during your opponent's turn, you can easily get rid of your opponent's, um, I guess, smaller elements of Peters, Researcher, etc., Analyzer, and, you know, the good stuff, plus uh, dropping Masterpiece as well, that gave them another piece of interaction, and already used up an Analyzer Special Summon, already used up our normal summon for Doki Doki. So I, I think my only out here was mm, maybe Block Dragon, and then Block Dragon crashing into Masterpiece, searching Gigantis, and dropping the red from the hand, or did I already use her effect? I'm not, I'm not so sure. No, I think that, that, was, that was basically my only out. But sadly it wasn't the case, and yup, Stizek has access to Envoker. I think, did we get back Envoker in the TCG? I don't think so. I might be wrong though, the OCG got it back. Master Duel as well. But I'm not so sure, I don't think we have that in the TCG, but back then, like, you know, Bao Baboon being destroyed by the true Draco field spell, search two other copies of Bao Baboon, that was an instant rank 3 exceed, plus replenish your hand, again, a very strong underlying engine for the deck. So, 1-0 behind, but as we've seen, you know, in the charts a couple of moments ago, you're going first, Adam is a is a superb deck, uh, one of the better decks here in this field's cross balance cap, because again, any two-card combo featuring at least one tuner is a uh, Helki, and Helki is full combo, almost. You know, it goes Reptite, etc. Um, so already have Block Dragon in hand, not able, at least not forced to, what is it, to make Granite? Yeah, no Granite needed. Rank up, Link up, I guess, you know, doing the standard combos, hit, connect with the Adamant Sepator, so lucky here in this case. I think I connect with all of them here in this particular duel, so that definitely helps out. Going first against them... Um, Drew Draco, you definitely want to go for Dweller Dweller, super MVP against the entire Drew Draco package. Sure, Drew Draco has an advantage going second, especially getting rid of those spells, mainly the traps to destroy monsters from your opponent. But if they are under Dweller, they can't do that, so you're blocking an entire engine. Uh, I think I... did I psychic out my Buster Lock? I'm not so sure. Um... Oh, no, I think I went for the, uh, another, like, not going for Buster Lock, but uh, opting to go for double level 8 Synchro Play plus Dweller. That seemed really strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this should be more than enough to get. Yeah, indeed, Baboon getting negated by Boral Savage, and this is indeed more than enough to attack for the game. So again, number 3, and oh, look at this hand. <laughs> and that's where, and I've read it through the comments as well, is um, at Emancipators has again a slight advantage over True Draco or any trap or stun based deck is uh, the, the Storms, like Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler here in this case. Thing is, is that uh, Masterpiece was unaffected by spells, right? Yeah. So Masterpiece here in this case is not negated by the Dark Ruler and alright, this is a super awkward game. Um, so I use my, my no, still no pop 
Um, so that lets me go for Herald. So again, Herald here in this case, because Masterpiece is not unaffected by monster effects, Herald is indeed able to negate a potential Masterpiece effect. So I can, you know, go for my standard combos. Masterpiece has been forced out. I guess you could go for that. You know, force out at least the Omnication on my part. Go for Granite, Searching Block, Dragon Rite. Again, some standard combos, but... Ah, oh, no, no, yeah. Get rid of the token. Yeah, that's another duel. You'll see it in the next couple of moments. So go for Unicorn this time. Okay, maybe I could have played this a little bit differently. You know, using... Hmm, let me think. Did I use Cerberus? I think I used Cerberus, right? Yeah, discarding... Was it discarding Block Dragon? Hmm... I used Unicorn eventually, the thing is, is that by going for Unicorn here in this case, ah, oh, it was during main phase 2, yeah, it makes sense, right, yeah, yeah, it should, should have been, um, by, you know, using my Unicorn that way, I was not able to use Unicorn now during their turn, the thing here is that, sure, my, um, Appalooza is what is it cannot be destroyed by card effects, I kind of sacrifice my Savage, by, you know, again, using my last Epo Negate. Uh, sure, they can go for Trident. It, it's fine, though. It's, it's uh, again, this this play again forces them out by doing this. You know, using Trident on Unicorn, and because I use Block Dragon, broken OP Block Dragon, I have a full Adamant Sepator engine ready for next turn. Which, again, I have, even though the extra deck doesn't count that many monsters still, but uh, the boss monsters are still there, and... Um, so go for the, uh, what is it called, the, the Water Wand, the level 8 on Negate Spells and Traps. Uh, go for Dweller still there. <laughs> ah, yes, Monster Reborn for that. It's just, I mean, the game was pretty much over, right? Even though I could have maybe missed some, some I guess, you know, keeping at least one Epo Negation. I mean, during the, my turn, they probably would have popped like the Savage, right? Ah, mm. Anyway, so game number four. Uh, go second, and my hand... No port wipes, no um, going second cards outside of, okay, petting Cessor, that's decent. It's just an extra monster on field. Um, Analyzer is there for, you know, pressure, but it's not the best uh, opening hand going second. Especially against, what is it, Trident Pop with potential Masterpiece and uh, we see Barrier as well. Uh, so Shakanin, you know, giving, I guess, the deck an extra monster to be tributed for the True Draco engine or Masterpiece. Um, Dryden hits the field, like, look at this, you have so many monsters, you know, for your deck to be tributed, but now there is no tribute monster in hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, what, what is the Dynamite Fighter? It has been a while, the one that searches traps. Um, I, again, kind of want to force out Dryden, so Petting Sessor getting popped, getting sent back to the deck, main phase 2, use Analyzer, you know, connect, no, I miss, okay, um, go for blue, uh, I think I hit, yeah, so Guardian, Guardian is fine, which I guess the only hand trap that I need to fear, what is it, one Maxi, but that already would have been used, and Ghost Ogre, right, but here I get barriered, I, maybe I should have gone for an early Herald, and then go for Helgi, that maybe was a smarter play, like as soon as I had the capability to go for Herald, I probably should have gone for Herald, you know, shutting down those potential two back rows. The thing is, is that, yeah, we don't know the two. Yeah, yeah, one of them being Barrier and one of them being a Chalice, right? So I think Unicorn got negated. Go for Cerberus, discarding my last cards. Um, still have Block Dragon there, so, you know, go for... Ah, oh, it was a... This this was the game, yeah. Where I think I... Was I forced to go for at least one token? I'm also... Ah, oh, I should we check that if Link Cross is uh, optional or not. Or do you need to at least summon at least one token? I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, so go for a weaker Epo, have Dweller to kind of, you know, keep me in the duel. But you feel, you know, it's still, uh, this was a very mediocre play on my part. Maybe I should have gone, uh, played this one a little bit differently, because a token was in the way. That was a thing. Yeah, 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 the token of Linkros. Um, so I guess through Drake and I can just, you know, go go for some standard plays. They end on Master, please, plus warning sets. I mean, this is pretty much game over. Sure. I do have a Lightning Storm in hand. The problem again is that token, right? They Battle Phase was, was sacrificed? Yeah, so ob obviously you leave the token, I guess, for stuff like Lightning Storm. Um, I do draw Dark Ruler, like, whew, insane, but Masterpiece still unaffected. And I do go for the, the Link 2 play in this case. Carrier, you, you know, crashing that makes my Lightning Storm life, hitting the back row. If there is a barrier, GG, instant game. But it was a warning, so I, I'm still in the duel. 
Problem though here is the masterpiece can still pop and my extra deck is completely empty, almost empty. I'm, I'm not, do I have any answers? I'm not so sure. Okay, yeah. Alright, that was that one. Yeah, because Masterpiece, what is it, was unaffected by monster effects. Guardian does not affect it, right? Unless I'm mistaken, but I think that was the case. Okay, so game number five. It was a, a five gamer, so was, was this expected? I think so, because again, both decks are strong, and looking at the true Draco Zodiac build, like stuff like Brawl Bull and Masterpiece are still banned in the TCG. And OCG, no? Yeah, I think so. So, again, standard place. Um, one of my stronger cards finally able to draw it going first is the Appointer. So Appointer giving me free information about my opponent's hand and shutting down or, you know, ripping at least one card from their hand. So standard place, going for Epo. Epo is fine, gives you more protection. Plus, you know, being or forcing at least one Dweller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, the thing is, is that I, I, I think I missed one of the effects. Um, so I need to sacrifice my Herald for Dweller, go for Mascarina, that gives me the Unicorn play during their turn, right? So that's strong, especially if I want to protect my Epo. A Pointer gives me free information, and this tells me that their hand is super mediocre, right? A couple of normal summons. Um, the Ignis, again, not useful here in this case, but because their normal summon was used of Bao Baboon. The Field Spell, again, which is just going to get negated, and that should lock up the duel. So a Pointer definitely helped out. But, you know, it's, it's a super broken card, right? So that's it. 3-2-2. Uh, to two. Ad Emancipator takes this one over True Draco Zodiac. The next one, we have Sprite, and that's Runic Sprite. So the decklist has been updated. Joshua Smith's Runic Sprite from, what is it, Utrecht, some time ago, versus Unchained, which also has been updated, both builds. They should be up on, um, you know, the Community tab and the Prediction. Or Predictions. Okay, so feel free to leave your predictions okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a card to like if you enjoyed the video leave him signing out peace